Already smelling great in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen. Standing next to Chef uh, Chef Ellerby from Savor making yes. chip, chicken and waffles. Chicken, chicken and, and waffles. waffles. Yes. Chef Walter. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we've already got our chicken right here and yep. the ingredients you've already set up. And we're Absolutely. going to start with the chicken. Yeah, we're going to start with the chicken. A lot of times people are intimidated about buying whole chickens because uh, they don't know what to do with it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the chicken and we're going to go ahead and prepare it for uh, for, for uh, consumption. Yeah. So we're going to fabricate this chicken. We're going to go right down the breastbone. Wow, wow. We're going to go ahead and split that. You're just going right in there, huh? Oh, yeah. A lot and of folks, like you said, are intimidated. They'll just get the more expensive already cut up. Already cut up. And department. this is where people can actually save their dollars. And, uh, and what we're going to do is save their dollars. And, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break this down. And buy something else. Buy something else. Come uh, back into the breast. All right, and break this down for eight pieces. This is great. This is a great dish, too. Chicken and waffles. Um, before this week, I had not really heard about it, but it really is something that a lot of folks are talking about. Absolutely. Chicken and waffles uh, originated up north. Uh, a lot of the students in uh, a lot of college towns wanted that kind of sweet and savory during the midnight study and different things yeah, like they're that. they're busy studying. Absolutely. Yeah. So, of course, you have uh, famous restaurants like Roscoe Chicken and Waffles <laughs> right. who, who have made this come true. And I think everybody has now taken, made their own take on it. And so we have a savor. So we basically start out with our chicken and we start putting together our seasoning. Um, normally what we do is break it down as such. And in the bowl here, we're going to start with our little bit of flour. Just normal, regular white normal flour. Normal AP flour. Mm -hmm. A little salt and pepper mix that we uh, blend together at, uh, at Savor. And this is a little special mix. This is our We Can Burn uh, spice mix, uh, one of my own takes and uh, my so that's spice a blend. It's, it's a little, uh, <laughs> little bit of love in there, a little bit of love in there. <laughs> so we actually just take this and we just mix it in very so. And then we're able to go ahead and coat the chicken very lightly because uh, we don't need to do anything else. We want the chicken to speak for itself. The flavoring and the ingredients within the uh, within the flour is going to do all the work for us. It's all about slow and low. We don't want to cook this on high. A lot of people have those dials on there and yeah. they just start turning everything on high. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that for this dish. We don't want to do that for this Give dish. Give yourself a little bit of time if, a little you, bit of if time. you want to a have that time. as a meal. So we're going to go right over to the pan. Now for the, the dish, I know you've, you've got some of the dark meat. Does yes. it matter? Is it normally dark or do um, you mix it? Well, the way we actually serve this at Savor, you actually get a half a chicken. Oh. So you get a wonderful Belgian waffle mm -hmm. and a half a chicken. And, uh, Sounds decadent. And the, absolutely. <laughs> and then we serve this with a little black pepper maple butter. Ooh. And uh, we mix that in with a little maple syrup. And uh, so it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Something that young and old can enjoy it uh, has enough savory for that savory desire as well as your sweet tooth yeah uh, you know i think you're right i think you're absolutely right it's kind of a little bit of uh, the best of both worlds you know surf and turf maybe there's something we can do with the chicken and waffles absolutely <laughs> i'm gonna step over and wash my hands just a little yeah, bit yeah absolutely so this goes in here i know you've already got some in the oven oh, cooking yes. so that we've got enough time to get everything together uh what happens in our next segment chef and i know as we've got the waffles all set up here to be prepared. Yes. It depends on the waffle iron too. It does depend it? on the waffle iron. You have so many different types of waffle irons that you can find at your, you know, your Walmart's or different places like this. This is a little bit more industrial because we're putting out tons of waffles every brunch, Sunday brunch at uh, Savor. So uh, we can turn out a waffle within uh, about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, nice and crispy on the outside, nice and tender on the inside. Mm -hmm. And you and I are going to put together a, a typical waffle batter and uh in the next segment and it's going to be absolutely fun i, think I we're cannot going to wait we've got the ingredients set up here oh, yes. so we'll work on that coming up sure. in the next segment meanwhile we're going to turn over our chicken there and stick that in the yes, oven we to are. Join yes the we are chef thanks very much we are doing very well as we make our chicken and waffles with chef walter lb from savor in virginia beach and if it was just chicken you did a you know, you showed us a great way to make it, and it's in the oven. It's in the oven. I could be good with that. You could be good with that. But you've got more. But we have more. We have a whole <laughs> lot more. What we're going to do right now, 
So we're going to make our basic uh, waffle batter. Mm -hmm. And so what we have here is we have about two cups of cake flour. Okay. Cake flour. What's the difference between that and the The cake like flour is going to be a little bit more lighter, a little bit more dense. You don't want something that's going to be really heavy because we want this to be nice and airy, uh, nice and crispy on the outside and nice and tender on the inside. Nice. Nice. So what we're going to start with is your two cups of cake batter here. And then we're going to go in with um, our dry ingredients first, and then we'll go ahead with our wet. Mm -hmm. So okay. we'll come in with our sugar. Okay. And, and, you know, and I'll actually let you do all the, all of that. And what is that? This is, uh, we have sugar and we have salt. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And then we have a little bit of baking powder, mm -hmm. so a little leavening. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not measuring too much. You just kind of, yeah, you're because eyeballing it a I've little bit. I've been doing this a little bit, for, well, for a few times, a little few times. Mm -hmm. few You've times, done it a little bit. A little bit, a <laughs> little bit. And then we're going to go about uh, a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start incorporating this with our oil. Do I start working that? Yes, go ahead and start okay. working that. And, and our egg, egg yolks. Nice waffle batter. So again, if you want to separate the dish. Absolutely, absolutely. You can you can just do waffles by itself. And we're going to add a little liquid to it. So here we have a little bit of milk. And it's going to start to loosen up on you. Okay. Um, take it slow so we don't splatter ourselves because... Mm -hmm. uh, Otherwise you, know, we you make we a mess. That's absolutely. We can't go out looking like that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll tell you. Gotta represent. Yeah, talk about it. <laughs> what kind of milk is that again? Whole this milk? Is, this is, um, actually this is 2%. Okay. But you can actually do whole milk. And the reason we want to, we're going to incorporate all of that in, but right now we're just working it in. Let me give you a hand for a second. Yeah, what, what have I done here with all that mess Oh, in that's middle? okay. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> it's all about how you incorporate it. you got to be a little vigorous here. All right. And we're not, talk, we're not trying to get all the bubbles out because those bubbles are going to help this batter come together really nice. They'll give our waffles flavor and character. Character and flavor. That's right. And that's what we need. Because <laughs> we want these waffles to represent us well. And then we're going to go ahead and add the rest of it. Okay. Gotcha. So slowly incorporate that milk. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you suggest fat free? No? Um, you can do fat free. I mean, okay. if you're looking to do something a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing, uh, you know, to cut some calories. But the good thing about this waffle batter, you want to do it a day in advance or a couple of hours in advance because okay. you want this waffle batter to kind of sit up and get some character on its own. Oh, interesting. So yeah. those bubbles are going to start to open up, going to start expanding, going to start soaking up some of that liquid, and okay. it's going to give you some aeration there. Oh, that's so, a good so that's, so that's why I already have some prepared for you. <laughs> but on this side, okay. we got to have something to go with that waffle. I mean, a waffle is a good waffle, I and mean, how you tell a good waffle, you can have it without syrup. But at Saver, we try to take you over the edge. So not only do you have this great chicken, mm -hmm. then you have this wonderful waffle. Right. Then we're going to top it off with black pepper maple syrup and we add a little oh, okay nice. we're running out of time so tell okay. me how we make really this because this is like a good tease for okay. when we put it all together all right second. sounds good we're going to start off with about okay. a cup of a cup of uh grade a maple yeah that's a good stuff isn't oh it? yeah that's really the good stuff <laughs> we're going to come back in with a pinch of pepper that pepper is going to give it some different flavor different body and then we're going to take some salt and butter we're going to mix this in, and we're going to work this in what until kind of that butter? salted butter. Is that this is said? unsalted oh, butter. Unsalted this butter. is unsalted butter, and we're going to actually take this. and We're going to whip it in, and uh, and the reason why you want to have it soft is so that it will go ahead and break up on you. Oh, and then I hate to cut you off. We're no going to problem. come back though and talk about this. I'll that get looks this like going. magic. Absolutely, I'll so get I, this going, and we'll be ready to put it all together. Very then. good. Well, I talk about the tropical. We've got breakfast, lunch, and dessert kind of all in one meal. All in one. This is delicious. First, let's kind of backtrack. We've got some waffles going, so we're going to talk about that Absolutely. when we hear the ding. You've been making some whipped cream, and you said it was kind of easy, although I saw you working hard <laughs> here in the kitchen just a well, little bit ago. It, it can uh, cause you to break a sweat, but basically what we have here is a little bit of heavy cream, mm -hmm. powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla. Okay. Now, you can change this any way you want to. Say, for instance, you want a little almond whipped cream, you can use a little almond extract. Nice. We decided to use a little vanilla. And so just a little wrist action. Go ahead and whip it to the peaks. You heard the ding. Perfect. That's letting us know that that waffle is ready to rock and roll. Okay, now so. it's going to be hot, so I think I might want to take okay, care of this I'm for gonna you. Okay, I'm going to move aside. Now, this is an industrial waffle. Yes. Um, I got a waffle, like, years ago for my wedding, and I don't think I've ever used it. Um, <laughs> any tips for the home cook if they're making waffles like this? Um, yes. Uh, make sure that uh, you have uh, nice hot pads. But my hands are kind of uh, seasoned to this. So, <laughs> um, but um, hot pads. Make sure that you let your batter 
rest. Now, uh, the viewers, they didn't see right. how that batter started to thicken up, but see how thick it is now? Did you put it in the refrigerator once didn't you put it? it? Well, you can't put it in the refrigerator, but you just wanted to kind of set up and let it do its own thing. Let all everything kind of marry together. Okay. You made this sauce, and yes. all you did was you um, you mixed it up again. Wrist yes. action. Yep, a little wrist action with a little um, maple syrup, mm -hmm. some salt and butter, and some coarse ground pepper. Okay, I'm a little, you know, I don't know about the pepper. We're going to try it, and I know sure. it's going to be delicious. Absolutely. Outstanding. So we've got the waffles here. Yes. Um, as you make it pretty and how you like it. Yes. Let's talk about, and because the chicken is in the oven. The chicken is in the oven and it's smelling so good. It really is. Let's talk about savor and where it is, how folks can find you, and your vision behind the restaurant. Um, savor was an 18-month vision. Oh. Um, I actually decided that, uh, you know, I was looking at the people in Hampton Roads, especially the Great Neck area, and a lot of them kind of travel to Charleston and New Orleans yeah. um, on their vacation. And 97% of them said the reason they go because of the food. So it's a no-brainer what to open up next. Right. So we decided to open up Savor Virginia's Low Country Cuisine. And, uh, and it's just been absolutely wonderful. You know, chicken, and, uh, chicken and waffles for brunch, uh, etouffee for dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have our catfish BLT for, for lunch. Um, we have a fried green stack uh, Napoleon that we make, homemade mozzarella. So when I come back next time, we're going to make homemade mozzarella. All right. Okay. We're going to put you up on that. All uh, right. You got it. So, <laughs> uh, so we do the uh, fried green tomatoes, the mozzarella, and our oh. award-winning crab cake. But, uh, but right now, everything is just, it's, it's all about love. It's all about the food of love. It's not a place that you just come in and go out. You're going to get in there, and you're probably going to sit there and enjoy yourself for about an hour or so. You know, um, most people tend to stay a lot longer. I, I don't charge for seating. Right, seating which is nice. That's yeah. right, that's right. You know, if you want to camp out, no problem. Um, but they can actually find us on SaverVA.com. Very nice. Um, or you can go to our Week and Burn site. Okay. Um, reservations are strongly uh, suggested. Uh, but we do a great Sunday brunch, a uh, wonderful lunch, and a great dinner. Um, the staff there is absolutely incredible. I have a wonderful team. And uh, we're just doing we're just doing wonderful things, and great glad to be a part of the community. Well, we're glad you're here and Thank sharing you. your wonderful meal and recipe with us. We've got the chicken in the oven. The chicken is in the oven. We're running out of time, but okay. we uh, certainly have an appetite. So we're going to put all of it together: we'll the chicken together. and the waffles and the syrup and the whipped cream. Yes. Wrap it all up and, and some pongo strawberries. How have about some that? Uh, have some breakfast. All we're right. Send it all over to uh, Ariane with. Our